students we are going to talk about sea floor spreading sea floor spreading is initially we discussed this in geomorphology but that this topic has a lot of relevance in oceanography also and it is much talked about a theory because the way you have water cycle so you have soil cycle that means what i am trying to say is whatever the soil that is in front of you took birth at one point and will die at another point on the earth that means as we know matter never uh, gets decimated it only changes its form so the present soil that we are seeing was not same soil it was something else it is right now soil it will be something else later so this is very clearly explained uh, by harry has in uh, sea floor spreading uh, theory according to which there is a yes shaped division in atlantic ocean which we call it as mid oceanic ridge mor now this mid oceanic ridge over here you have south america north america greenland europe africa so this central part is what is the part that we are interested right now the area of interest for us which we call it as mid oceanic ridge part and this is basically a continuous volcanic eruption place from that end to this end it's roughly in yes shape of english alphabet that means this is the zone where volcanism continuously throughout the year keeps on happening now why does that happen see we know that when earth formed it was a very hot material it got cooled condensed and because of differential cooling because we know earth is made up of heterogeneous minerals each mineral will have a different heating point and a different boiling point so you cannot expect the entire earth to cool at one go so because of this differential cooling that happened there were non uniformities on the basic structure of the earth that's on the surface of the earth and because of this non uniformity is forming at one place the earth was very uh, compactly uh, it was dense and at few places it was loosely uh, built so once the shell is formed whatever the heat that was captured in the inside of the earth the same heat was being propelled on a regular basis by existing nuclear active radio elements in the interior of the earth because we know that earth is made up of, made up of heterogeneous minerals so these active nuclear elements kept on piling up heat in the interior of the earth so at one or the other point of time now that heat had to escape out you cannot hold it for a longer period and when that heat has tried to escape through this loose phases it led to volcanism activity on the earth one such zone happened to be the zone between these uh, two continents uh, in the mid of atlantic ocean which we call it as mid mid uh, oceanic ridge or mid atlantic ridge in both the ways we can call it
now when that hot material is coming out pushing out gushing out from the interior of the earth which we call it as uh, lava when it comes out and of course when it is inside we call it as magma from those magma chambers when it gushes out this lava when it comes in contact with instantly with your very cold atlantic waters it starts cooling and condensing and becoming solid but when the next ejection takes place when next eruption takes place it is so hot that it destabilizes the already solidified material that's on the peripheries it will push it and don't forget that it's in atlantic ocean which is one of the most active oceans because of your current system so that means waters are continuously on the move they are not static they are not stable that's owing to rotation and many other factors that we will get to know in oceanography in detail so these movements of waters further push this material to sidewards in that way material that gets generated in mid oceanic ridge obviously will be pushed on both the sides by these waters and this material further keeps on moving through this oceanic waters and we know that it's a globe so at one part if it is moving this way at another part it has to again converge if somewhere it is diverging at other part it has to converge so that convergence zone would be on the earth that convergence zone would be your continuous island arc that you have from japan till down into south you have a continuous island arc area so this island arc has a feature called as trench system or we call them as trenches now what are trenches trenches are the convergence zones of this material i don't mean to say that material will superficially come so the entire plate block starts moving from your mid oceanic ridge on one way this comes from here the other way it comes from here and both of them will converge again over here at this point which we call it as a trench when the both converge whichever is the harder plate it sustains there the softer one tries to tends to bow down it goes down and ultimately it goes down deep into the earth thereby we call this as the birth zone we call this as the birth zone of so soil or the earth material and we call this as the death zone death trap of your uh, earth material or crustal material now why i said soil cycle is there is a reason because we should not forget rocks disintegrated will become soil so that's how sea floor spreading talks about material getting born at one place and dead at one place and thus the cycling continuously happens leading to formation of new crustal material every other day this is what is sea floor spreading which is a continuation for continental drift theory thank you